Hey, so welcome to Quarantine Cooking with Flo. Uh, I had a craving for um, pork dumplings, but I didn't have pork, so I kind of looked around in my kitchen to see what I had, and I'm gonna share with you the recipe that I made for um, salmon dumplings using wonton wrappers. So let's get to it. Okay, so here I have my uh, canned uh, salmon that I just kind of flaked up here. Then I have uh, some onion that I've uh, whatever, minced. And I don't even have fresh uh, cilantro or coriander. I always use fresh, but this is what I have, so it's gonna have to, I'm gonna have to use that. And of course, I have my wonton wrappers that have been defrosted. So here we go. Okay, so this is basically the mixture that I, that I mix together, the canned salmon with the coriander and the onion. So I'm gonna take my wonton wrapper, here it is, and uh, you don't wanna overstuff it. So basically it's like one teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of the stuffing. Um, and today I'm gonna seal it with milk. You can definitely seal it with water, you can definitely seal it with an egg. Some people use also um, water mixed with cornstarch. So uh, here I'm making triangles. So you can make whatever shape you want. You can make a little pouch, you can make squares. I'm making triangles today. Uh, again, don't overstuff it. Because um, if you overstuff it, when you steam it or when you boil it or whatever you want to do, fry it, uh, it might explode. So here again, just sealing it really quick with the milk and uh, fold it over, cute little triangles. So cute, so cute, so cute. Okay, so just continue on like that. Okay, so these ones, I just I just boiled them because the rest I, I saved. I'm going to uh, I'm going to steam some of them and then I'm going to. Um, I'm going to fry some of them too. So uh, these one I just boiled so I can just taste it. And there we go. Oops. 